It was an overcast day in January when we saw him leave at the airport. He was killed on May 24th, 1968. I was seven and a half. Richard was the older brother figure. And the first time in my life that he really came into focus, I was probably about four or five. And the memory that I have was sitting on his lap and he was helping me to read. Richard was a funny kid because he was kind of feisty and he used to get into fights. At one point, one of his teachers said he couldn't stand in line without punching people. But when it came down to it, uh, Richard did not want to kill anybody. So he became a medic instead because he recognized that he wanted to save lives. Before his death, Richard became my favorite brother. And I think the reason why was the last couple of times he came home before he left, we made a personal connection. I remember him coming home from leave and telling me um, that uh, if I needed him in the middle of the night uh, to call out medic. We became close and Yet there was part of all of us that sensed that this was coming, that something was coming. We couldn't put our finger on it. Uh, we felt a sinking feeling. And at the time, I just shut a lot of it out. My godfather was sort of a gung-ho military type, and I think he kind of applied the hard sell to my brother. He was not really sure where he was going. And I think that he saw it as a way to sort of grow up and transition into the adult world. The best account I have was an eyewitness, a gentleman named uh, John Parmalee, I think is his name. Then his memory, he had been shot once there was an officer who had been shot in the head. Richard rolled over to help the officer. Uh, and then was killed by sniper fire. <laughs> Richard was a cohesive relationship uh, in our family. He brought people together. This is part of what made his death um, all the worse. I did not understand for a number of years, except for intellectually what had occurred. And one night at college, a friend of mine had asked me about his death. And when I recalled it, at about 19 years old, something happened, and it was as though the veil of the years and the denial that I had lived with rolled back. And I felt this full impact of his death. I had hoped that the Vietnam War was gonna be a turning point for this nation. It was a misbegotten war that was being led by the military-industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us about. 